I am part of the Hope Writers team. Welcome to this training session. You're probably here because you've got questions about whether Hope Writers is for you and whether it's a good fit because you're a beginner. And if that's you, you're in the right place. And during this session, we are going to answer all those questions about being a beginner and whether Hope Writers is a good fit. Whether you're only just beginning to think about writing or you currently write in a journal, but you've been feeling the pull to write a bit more, or maybe you one day want to publish that book that's been noodling around in your brain and you're thinking about doing that, but you've absolutely no idea where to start. This session is going to be super helpful. Not only will we talk about whether Hope Writers is a good fit for you as a beginner, but we'll also give you some more details about what you get with your Hope Writer membership and tell you how you can join today. Because I get it, being a beginner, you're understandably concerned that Hope Writers might not be a good fit. That's why you're going to hear from four of our Hope Writer members today who are all worried about the same thing before they joined. You'll hear what made them decide to join Hope Writers and how they went on to find Hope Writers the perfect place to make progress in their writing journey, no matter where they were starting from. You're going to hear from Twyla and Jenna and Laura and Natalie, who were all interviewed by Brian, who is one of our co-founders here at Hope Writers. And they're discussing the specific ways Hope Writers has been the perfect place for them as they make progress in their writing journey. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. All right. Well, let's go around the room here. Jenna, we'll start with you. So here are the questions. Where are you from? When did you join Hope Writers? And tell us a little bit about your writing. I am from a tiny town in Ohio, with lots of cows and corn. <laughs> and um, Love it. I joined in September of last year. And my writing is so, I don't even know yet. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. Yes. But I, I have a tiny book in my heart that I am waiting to see what happens with it. I love it. I love it. And that's what we're talking about is what do you do if you're just getting started? So I love it, Jenna. Thanks for starting starting us off here. Natalie, what about you? How long have you been a Hope Writer? Where are you from? And tell us a little bit about your writing. Yeah, so I am from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I have been a Hope Writer since May. And my writings, I still definitely feel like a beginner, but I'm starting to more refine my audience and my voice. And that's been really exciting recently. That's awesome. Welcome. My hometown here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Love it. Yeah. And Laura, what about you? Where are you from? How long have you been a Hope Writer? And tell us a little bit about your writing. Yeah, I'm from Norman, Oklahoma, home of the Sooners. And I have been a Hope Writer for about eight months now. Um, awesome. And I write what I call sidewalk stories um, from my 100-year-old neighborhood um, about the vanity of the future and the beauty of the present day. So I only came up with that because I joined Hope Writers and I started writing. You know, we often say around Hope Writers, you start where you start and your pace is your pace. And uh, I've, I've, I've also heard a writer say, don't compare your beginning to someone else's middle. And that can be really tempting, right? When you see other people who they join at the same time, they get a book deal or they've made progress and you're still trying to figure out exactly what is it that I wanna write. And that, that imposter syndrome can really set in um, who can who, just raise your hand? Who can relate to that? Okay, Jenna, tell us your story. Tell us a little bit about like what does it feel like to join Hope Writers and maybe not, you know, have this like really specific vision and be making all this progress. Is is Hope Writers still for you if you're just kind of getting started? Absolutely. I I'm a nurse, so I was like, why why did you put this idea of book in my heart? Because this is nothing like anything I've been trained for. And I told God, I was like, if you want me to write this book, you're going to have to provide a miracle of some sort with lots of resources and all of that. And the very next day after I said that, I saw the advertisement for Hope Writers on my Duolingo app. Like, <laughs> So that's how I found out. And since then, I have figured out who's my audience, what is it that I want to do. So I went from 
this is not my wheelhouse in any way, shape or form to, okay, I can do this. And there are people out there that are ready to help me on my journey. Oh, wow. I love that. Natalie, what about, what about you? What would you say to somebody who's just getting started, doesn't quite have clarity yet and is thinking, should I wait? Should, like, should I wait for a few years before, you know, maybe, maybe I have a better plan. What would you say to them about Hope Writers? What's been your experience? I would say being involved with Hope Writers and in a Hope Circle and it's a Tuesday teaching, I really learned that by writing, I can find my voice in my audience and I wasn't writing for Hope Writers. I mean, I wanted to, but I just didn't have the accountability. I didn't know where to start. It just felt so overwhelming. And then joining Hope Writers, I did have sort of a step-by-step -step guide and supportive community and other beginners with me. And so then I was able to start writing and with that is coming the clarity. So. So good. Laura, what about you? What's been your experience in Hope Writers? And what would you maybe say to somebody who's just getting, just getting started and not sure if it's a good fit for them? Yeah. Um, Andrew Peterson said in his book that I just read, book the tour before you write the music. Mm -hmm. He booked his like best selling Christmas album, the tour before he wrote all the music. He had one song kind of in his head, um, but it made him have to rely on the community, his band members. Um, and that is what hope writers felt like for me. Uh, you know, book the book, the, the hope writers membership and then start writing. Um, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if I ever would have let anyone see what I write without having to lean on my fellow hope writers because I was paying for this. I needed to, you know, get some words out there. Um, so yeah, book the tour um, before you, before you write those songs, um, just start writing with us. Oh, I love that. Let me go back to Natalie. Natalie, what, what's been your kind of favorite part of Hope Writers or maybe something that kind of surprised you about Hope Writers so far? Um, definitely my favorite part has been the Hope Circle. And I'm surprised that we're still meeting because <laughs> we started in June. Wow. And um, yeah, and I actually started it, which is kind of uncharacteristic of me. But I was just like, well, OK, I'm just going to put a post out there. I didn't think anyone would respond, but they did. And the same about five women and I have been meeting and it's been so wonderful. Um, so I don't know, it's just really been such a blessing for me to have those women who get it. Like they get it when you feel like an imposter, they get it when you're stuck and then they celebrate with you when you start your Instagram writing page or start a website, these little steps that even my husband doesn't really understand, you know, they really get it with me. So that's been probably one of the biggest things in Hope Writers. I love it. Yeah. Hope, hope circles are great. That's, that's, um, you know, just a way for you to connect to other members and meet on a regular basis, kind of like a small group mastermind. There's all kinds of different, different ways. I've seen hope circles that just use Voxer or those that meet weekly and those that have their own little kind of private Facebook group. There's all kinds of different hope circles. I love that you've, that you found a, a hope circle for you and you, ha and you started it, which is really awesome. Thanks for your leadership there. Jenna, what about you? What's been something that's been surprising or maybe the best part of being a hope writer for you? For me, it's uh, seeing how it connects to other parts of my life. So I'm also a podcaster and I have made so many new connections with these people and been able to promote them on my podcast or um, bring authors on that I wouldn't have known before. And it's honed my ability to make a better podcast, which is kind of like writing, but not exactly. It's helped me with my question writing and um, my Instagram and building followers and that. So, and it's also helped me communicate with people better because it's made me think more about my words. So it's it's mm -hmm. been multifaceted in all parts of my life, not just writing. Laura, what about you? What's been your favorite part of Hope Writers or maybe something that surprised you after you joined Hope Writers? Yeah, something that surprised me um, that you promote that you'll make progress, but I just really didn't believe it. <laughs> you know, I tried other things in the past, um, but I, you know, I would, I would peter out in insecurity. I'd peter out because I didn't know what to do next. Um, I knew that I could find friends here and I have, and that has been the best part of it. But the surprising thing is that I am, I'm still writing and I'm, I'm still getting my words out there and they're still being seen by human eyes that aren't mine. <laughs> That's yeah. just really exciting. 
Wasn't that great? Well, I also mentioned you were going to hear from Twyla. And in this little clip, Twyla is talking again to Brian about how Hope Writers has been helpful to her as a beginner. But for now, we want to talk to Ms. Twyla. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. You sound great. Good to see you here. Thank you. Twyla, we would love for you to tell us a couple things. Um, one, I haven't asked this of anybody else, but tell us where you are calling in from, first okay. of all. And then also, we'd love to know how long have you been a Hope writer, what stage you're in, and a little bit about your writing. So that's four things. Okay, I will try to remember. So I'm calling from Lexington, Kentucky, and I joined Hope Writers just over a year ago. And um, was the next question what I write about? Yes, what you write about okay. and your stage, what stage you're in. Okay, so I write um, specifically about neighborhood missional living, and it's kind of a niche that has helped. A lot of the Hope Writer content has really helped me narrow in on who I'm writing for because something that I read early on was looking forward to proposals was to really read a lot of books in your niche and that that's going to help you find your voice and how you're different. And so that has really helped me because there's a lot of books out there already about discipleship and building community in neighborhoods. And I wanted something that was, you know, very specific, but still different. And so the more that I've read, I've kind of honed into, I'm kind of in the middle between what Kristen Schell writes about with the turquoise table and building community in your neighborhood. And then Cesar Kalinowski is another um, person that's been very influential and I've learned a lot of discipleship stuff from him, but he's a lot more like gung ho. You're, you're ready to go. You're going to jump straight in and it's kind of a radical lifestyle shift. Whereas I'm writing more to people. Um, my tagline is imperfectly ready. So it's more for people that feel like they want more community and purpose um, and balance in their life, but they don't really necessarily know to Google missional living or missional community. And they feel more like they need their handheld through the process. So I write a lot about baby steps and just kind of the process of kind of easing yourself into it and letting that snowball. Okay. So you've just expressed a, a foundational hope writer posture, and you might not even realize that you did it. And that is that you were not afraid to hear and read what other people in your genre are writing about to your reader. And you are finding not only what they say, but you're finding how you are distinctly different. And that is a beautiful skill. That's a pro move, Twyla. Fantastic work. But I do want to ask you, because I know there's a lot of writers who are starting out and they're like, I want to write about this thing. And they have this idea and I want to hear your advice to them. They have this idea, but then they're like, oh, but they see somebody else wrote about it and they get really freaked out and, it's, and they're afraid to read it. But you've just described how you've kind of walked that path. Can you tell us like, was there some hesitation or some nervousness for you in seeing what other people are doing? There definitely was. Um, when I first started writing, it was just right before I, before I found Hope Writers. So I didn't read or hardly write anything for about 10 years. And wow. then January, um, two years ago, I started listening to podcasts really for the first time ever. And a few months into that, I'm like, I really want to start reading some books more. And it, just reading books makes me want to write. And I was an English major all throughout school, but I kind of just put that on the back burner. I'm an Enneagram nine. So I kind of, you know, just kind of put that to rest for, for a long time and just focus on being a homeschooling mom and being here with my kids and, and that sort of stuff. Um, so when the idea popped in my head to start writing, um, I kind of got a specific answer. Like I was, I was re literally asking God, well, everybody's already written everything. I don't know what to write. And he said, well, write what you're doing on Friday nights. And we host a missional community for our neighbors here. And we are really early on in the process. <clears throat> but so my question was, well, there's already people that have 10 or 15 years of a track record of doing this ahead of me. Like, what do I have to offer? And as I was just wrestling through it, I kind of felt like him guiding, well, because I'm writing in the midst of the learning, it might be less intimidating for other people that, you know, are just starting out. So, I mean, that's, that's would basically be my advice is just to lean into um, what questions do you have? And, and just to really listen to where God might be navigating. So good, Twyla. I'm curious. So you've been a hope writer now for how long did you say? Just over a year. Just over a year. Way to go, by the way. Thank we're you. We're so glad. We're so glad you're still around. But can you, like we asked this of, a, of one of the other uh, 
guests that we had on, but if someone asked you like, oh, well, what is a hope writer? What's it mean to be a hope writer? Can you answer that question for yourself? Sure. Um, so being a hope writer is really about knowing what writing stage you're in, what your goals are, and um, coming alongside other like-minded people who are going to encourage you. And um, you're going to be given a wealth of information, the Hope Writer Library. I just love it. For example, there was one video that I, that I watched just a few days ago that answered exactly the questions that I have about writing an ebook and putting it on Kindle. So it was just a perfect, um, is answering all the questions I didn't even know that I had. So, <laughs> um, so it's, it's just so much information that you don't know what you don't know. And, um, and so the community aspect of it and then all the trainings have just been phenomenal. I love it. Dad, do you have any, by the way, this is my dad. Those of you who might not know, <laughs> sometimes I, I forget to call him Gary and I just call him dad because he's my real life dad. Any questions for Twyla before we ask where we can find her stiff? You have an interesting uh, 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 niche area, you know, and so that's it. How has uh, Hope Riders helped you in that? And is it in, 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 in any particular connecting with people or what's really, I mean, you've been here for a year, so you're getting value. What kind exactly are you getting? Twyla, in your situation. Okay. Um, it's, it's helped me in so many different areas. Before I started, I didn't have any kind of writing routine. And the Friday shares that we do kind of became my arbitrary deadline. I wanted to be able to share. Nice. It. And that uh, is so smart. T tell us what Friday shares is real quick for those who might not know. Okay. So every Friday, there's a share thread and everybody can post one link either to their blog post or it might be an Instagram post or a podcast episode. And then um, you need to at least share one other person's. So it's a really great way to find um, other things that you're interested in and, and kind of help build that community. But that became my deadline. I wanted to be able to share in time for that. So, so for a month or two Fridays was the day that I released blog posts. And then after I got the rhythm going, I realized, well, this wasn't necessarily the best time for me to send out the emails. So I changed the day of the week, but I've been able to keep up with that, that weekly routine. And then that's helped as well. I recently started a podcast version of what I write. So I'm doing that additionally every week. And I think already having that rhythm of this is some content that I'm pushing out on a really regular basis has helped. Way to go. Look at all that progress you're making. No kidding. Congratulations. Doesn't it make our hearts so happy, guys? Yes. <laughs> Your writers so making progress. Great, Twilight. Amazing. Wasn't that helpful? It was really great to hear how Natalie made progress and found clarity with help from both the step-by-step -step guide and the community. And I loved that quote from Andrew Peterson about booking the tour before he'd written the songs and how Laura encourages us to join Hope Writers before you've put your words out there. And it's so exciting to see what these members have done since they joined Hope Writers as complete beginners. They've joined Hope Circles and figured out their audience. They found writing friends and community and become better communicators as a whole. And you also heard how Twyla uses the Friday shares as her hitting publish deadline on her writing. And this is my story as well. I joined Hope Writers as a complete beginner. I had no idea what I was doing. And I'll even confess, I had never even heard of a blog. I didn't even know what a blog was. Now I have a traditionally published book with another one coming out next year. And I'm a speaker and a podcast who knows who her audience is, how to serve her and how to go about it. And I'd have never figured this out simply by Googling. As a beginner concerned about whether Hope Writers is the best place for you, I hope you can now see how the tangible things that will make a difference in your writing progress when you join Hope Writers and how it's the perfect place for you. Well, you might be wondering exactly what is included in your Hope Writer membership and how you can join today. So let me flesh that out for you in more detail. Here at Hope Writers, we've been in the business of helping writers find and follow their own path to publication for more than five years now. We open our doors to our membership community at just a few times a year, and I'm happy to say this is one of those times, and we would love to be a part of your plan. 
Maybe you've heard of Hope Writers, but you don't exactly know what we do or who we are. Maybe this is your first time hearing about us and you're wondering if it's worth it. We're here to answer all your questions about Hope Writers. I would love to know in the comments if you've been watching Hope Writers from a distance. Maybe just type the word watching. We've anticipated what some of your questions will be. So before we take your questions, I'll quickly walk you through what Hope Writers actually is and what we offer. So what exactly is included in Hope Writers? Firstly, the weekly teaching. Basically, every week we host an hour-long writing workshop, live 2 p.m. Eastern Time. We call it Tuesday Teaching, and it's where we offer members the most up-to-date information from editors, agents, authors, book coaches, Instagram gurus, book launch coordinators, and marketing professionals, and teachers of the craft of writing. We ask the questions you want to know. We have over 100 interviews available for you to watch right now, because even though we do them live, we of course record them if you can't join us. This is the latest information you can't find anywhere else, curated to help you make progress on your writing journey. Not only do you get to participate in the teaching live, but our team is there to facilitate your questions, making the teaching applicable specifically to you and your writing. Hope Writer member Cheryl minored in writing in college and was eager to get started in her career, but says the lack of practicals she learned from school left her feeling overwhelmed. Tuesday teaching gives me what my writing classes did not. Structure for a writing plan, practicals on getting a book published, and helpful hints about platform, to name just a few. Your Hope Writer membership includes number one, weekly teaching. Number two, resource library. When you join, you get instant access to over 130 teaching videos to help you make progress. Our library is organized by stage, so you'll know exactly which teaching to start with and what to do next. Included in the member library are teaching videos from incredible authors like Annie F. Downs, Beth Moore, John Eldridge, and over 100 other teachers. You'll find videos and how-to articles on topics such as social media, book proposals, writing craft, and writing routines. When you log in as a new Hope Writer, which you can do now, you'll start right there where it says, read me first, and every step will be super clear. We've listened to and served our writers and have recognized a common struggle. So many writers were overwhelmed or flat out quitting for one reason. It's not because they had nothing left to write, it's because they were trying to do all the right things in all the wrong order. This is a path, not a formula. A path may have ups and downs and turns, but on a path, you're moving in a direction. And as a writer, sometimes that's all you need to get unstuck. Our resource library is organized by stage, easy to navigate, and we made it easy to know exactly where to start. One resource in the library is a video interview with literary agent Jenny Burke, and she says this about Hope Writers. The work you're doing inside of Hope Writers is so important. You're helping so many writers, which in turn helps us in the publishing industry to have so much good quality content. I've gotten proposals from Hope Writers that are so good that it's slowing down my process. Sorry, Jenny. Just kidding, we're not sorry at all. Our Hope Writer membership includes one, weekly teaching, two, resource library, and three, an online community. The third component of our membership is access to our private member community. This is our online group where you can meet other writers, receive feedback and encouragement, ask your ungoogleable questions, and share links to your latest projects in our Friday Shares thread. The community you'll discover will show you that you're not alone. You're in the right place. Your Hope Writer membership includes one, weekly teaching, two, resource library, three, online community, and four, guided hope circle. You'll have the opportunity to join one of our new guided hope circles. These are topic-focused writing groups led by a trained hope writer's guide whose goal is to help you make progress. 
You can choose from topics including how to write a book proposal, how to grow your social media following, how to create writing routines, and so much more. A member who started a circle is author Jennifer Dukes Lee. She's been a member of Hope Writers for a few years now, and she now also works with Bethany House Publishers as an acquisitions editor. She says this group has been a gift to her. Her Hope Circle was a safe place to process almost everything you could imagine. Jennifer says, for me, it's been a lifeline. Your Hope Writer membership includes one, weekly teaching, two, resource library, three, online community, four, guided Hope Circle, five, member directory. You'll be able to create a profile on our public directory at hopewriters.net. The directory provides a professional place where you can direct people to learn more about your work and a way to connect with writers who live near you or are working in similar projects. Your Hope Writer membership includes one, weekly teaching, two, resource library, three, online community, four, guided Hope Circle, five, member directory, and six, progress planner. Our printed planner focuses on helping you make progress in your writing over 90 days. The Hope Writers Progress Planner is the culmination of more than five years of development, and it's perfectly crafted to help you organize your writing goals, process the feedback and instruction you receive, and make the most of your writing time. We know you're going to love the planner, which retails for $39.95, but it's yours free when you join Hope Writers. Your Hope Writer membership includes one, weekly teaching, two, resource library, three, online community, four, guided Hope Circle, five, member directory, six, progress planner. And there's a bonus you get when you join Hope Writers. It's called the Time to Write Bundle. This bonus will help you create writing routines and find time to write even within the most demanding schedule. Let's face it. Life is busy, but these trainings will help you carve out the margin you need in order to share your words. This bonus expires midnight Pacific time, Thursday, May 27th. So when you join Hope Writers, you get access to one, the weekly teaching, two, the resource library, three, the online community, four, the guided Hope Circle, five, the member directory, six, the progress planner, and seven, the time to write bundle. That's an almost $2,000 value. If Hope Writers helped you discover your voice, would it be worth it? If Hope Writers helped you connect with other writers, would it be worth it? If Hope Writers helped you make progress in your writing, would it be worth it? But the good news is you won't have to invest almost $2,000 for all of this value. In fact, you'll have complete access to everything we've talked about for $47 a month inside Hope Writers. So all you need to do to get everything you see on the screen is to go to hopewriters.com slash join. This is where you go to join, but I have one more thing. So you might be wondering if you're a Hope Writer. Who are we? Well, we're a lot of people. We're people who used to think no one would ever want to read our words, but have decided to stop believing that story and write a different one instead. We're people who maybe don't even like writing that much, but lately we've been paying more attention to the power of the written word to connect with people. And even though writing is hard and maybe not our favorite, we're slowly growing in confidence that we have something to say. We're mothers and some fathers who have been doing the holy harrowing work of taking care of tiny children. But now those children aren't so tiny anymore and have their own ideas about the world. And we have our ideas too. And we want to make sure our ideas aren't lost in the shuffle. And we wonder, should I start to write them down? We're people who believe we have a story of hope to tell, but we've doubted for years, maybe decades, that our voice matters until recently we've started to believe that's all wrong. And humility doesn't mean thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. And maybe we've been so wrapped up in what will they think of me? 
and my writing isn't very good. And it's all been said before that we've forgotten to look beyond ourselves and see a reader who might need the encouragement, the entertainment, the hope that our words have to offer. Who Hope Writers is not for. We are not grandstanders or self-promoters. We're not a book club or a community of dabblers. We're not for robots who want to build a publishing machine or glory hogs who want all the attention. We are people, soft-hearted, jagged edges, sometimes discouraged and timid, but always underneath, we are hopeful. We believe there's goodness in the world. We believe we play a part. We believe there is room at the table for our voice, our words, our story. And we believe there's room for yours here too. Your success doesn't take one thing away from me, and we champion one another's words, stories, and work. We help any writer find and follow their own path to finally sharing their words with a reader. We'd love to help you, and we can start today. So all you need to do to get everything you see on the screen is to go to hopewriters.com join. I want to invite you to play worst case scenario about this decision as well. What's the worst thing that could happen? You aren't going to die. The worst thing is you join us, it's not for you, and you cancel your membership. Is that the worst thing that could happen? Maybe, or maybe not. Maybe the worst thing is you don't join us. And then after our doors close, you continue trying to write on your own with little support, no clear path, and a lot of questions. Or maybe the worst case scenario is you set your writing aside altogether and never share your words at all. We want to make this a no-brainer decision for you. That's why we have a 60-day tried and applied guarantee to make this as easy as we can for you. Show us you engaged and did the work, if you still aren't satisfied, we'll gladly refund you your membership fee. So you might instead ask yourself, what is the best thing that could happen? Maybe you discover your writing voice, or you connect with other readers, or even you could make progress in your writing. Wouldn't that be worth the investment? Hope writer Laura says when she and her husband were working on scaling back, she declared her Hope Writers membership a no-fly zone. So all you need to do to get everything you see on the screen is to go to hopewriters.com slash join. You might be wondering if Hope Writers is for you if you need to learn marketing. Well, I'd recommend inside our resource library, you start with trainings from Jennifer Allwood, Mike Kim, and Tim Grahl. And you might be wondering if Hope Writers is for you if you want to publish a book. Then I'd recommend the teachings from Carolyn McCready, Stephanie Smith, and Andrea During. And you might be wondering if Hope Writers is for you if you need to find your voice. Then I'd recommend the teachings inside the resource library from Crystal Payne, Joe Saxton, and Marion Roach Smith. So all you need to do to get everything you see on the screen is to go to hopewriters.com slash join. Well, thank you for joining us for this session. And I do hope you'll join us at hopewriters.com slash join. Hope Writers has been invaluable for me in my writing journey. And I do hope that I'll be able to see you there.